For about a month or two, I sat staring at a blank Word document, thinking, how am I going to write my wedding vows to Anna Reinhardt, soon to be Anna Mitzis? And I would sit there and think about our stories and everything that's happened between us and the windy, twisty road that led us to right here, right where we are right now. And I would keep thinking, and I would cry or laugh, depending on what story it is. And every single time I would stop and say, who would have ever thought that I'd be marrying Anna Reinhardt? And I have to say, what a better way to start a lifelong journey like this than with somebody you blindly called your best friend for the better part of a decade. I don't know how we didn't see it for years. It could have just been our stupidity. but I really think it was divine timing the way this just came together. Over the years, before we were even dating, we had a lot of things that happened between us. We brought a child back to life. We've seen each other save countless other lives. We were always there for each other. And I know in my core that we always will be. Our love and our foundation started way before either of us ever realized it. Anna, I promise to always be there for you like I always have. To support you and stand by your side through all of life's joys and challenges. I vow to listen to you with an open heart, to respect you and appreciate you for the incredible person I've seen you become. <laughs> you like it? I love it. Uh, I can I kiss you? Am I allowed to kiss you? Yeah, I don't think there. I'm allowed to kiss you yet. I, I love you. I love you. You ready? Mm-hmm. I know what I'm gonna make up my I promise to be your partner and best friend in all things, to laugh with you in times of joy and comfort you in times of sorrow. With you, I have found my greatest love, my best friend, and I vow to love you endlessly for all the years to come till death to us part. The morning of 4-9-2022, you accidentally told me you had feelings for me, and you were freaking out that you sent me the wrong text messages. I told you that same day I knew I was going to marry you. Everyone said they saw this coming for years, which led me to try to pinpoint the exact moment that I realized I loved you and I couldn't. I realized I couldn't remember a time when I didn't love you. People say love is hard, but loving you is the easiest thing I've ever done. Falling for you wasn't falling at all. It was leaning in your arms that first night in the garage and suddenly knowing I was home. You're the man that I've prayed for for my entire life and dreamed of since I was a little girl. Everything is better with you by my side. Saying you're my best friend can never fully explain what you mean to me. You're the only person who can make me laugh when I cry and the only one that can make me laugh until I cry. You're everything I didn't know I needed. You're everything everyone told me to wait for. I vow to I'll always love you like a 1 Corinthians 13 love. I vow to stand by you through thick and thin. I vow to keep updating our vows as time goes on because one set of vows won't cover a lifetime of growing and changing together. I fall in love with you more and more every day and I vow to do that every day for the rest of my life. I read a quote that said, I only worry not that our love won't endure, but I worry because if we live to be 100 and I get 80 years with you, how am I to sit all of my love for you into just 80 years?
If you lie, may you lie in each other's arms. If you cheat, may you cheat death. If you steal, may you steal each other's hearts. And if you drink, may you drink with all of us. <laughs> Girls. Here's your hot oh. It's official. <laughs> <laughs>